Hi guys, it's Live Mondo here with my solo Legend of Acrius run. Uh, the Legend of Acrius is the exotic shotgun. You get it from this quest that you get once you've beat the raid for the first time. It's a very good sh uh, shotgun. I've done it before on PlayStation. I wasn't happy with the run, so I didn't put it on. So I figured I'd do it again. I, I've got the quest again on Xbox. I'll do it again. And this was infinitely better run. More, more in keeping with the way I like to do things. So... Uh, the modifiers are anomalies and uh, prism, so the burn changes every 30 seconds. So the the, the kind of the tactic for this is work with the burns. Pick your targets based on the burn. You know, if it, so I'm running curtain call uh, and my heavy tangle 45 because I don't have a mananan on Xbox, so my tangle 45 is solar. My curtain calls void. And Nameless Midnight, my kinetic. My subclass is Striker. Uh, you can't beat them double fusions. Although, to be fair, I don't think that's going to last much longer. So, the reason I've got... I've picked my burns specifically because of the boss strategy. My rocket launcher needs to be the burn that happens before my super. Uh, uh, the boss battle takes about 60 seconds... It's a very good strategy. I'll credit Esoteric for it. I spoke with, I'd seen his strategy and thought it was really impressive. I spoke to him via Twitter uh, and I asked him if he didn't mind me giving it a shot using the strategy because obviously if someone comes up with something, I don't want to be the type of person that just, you know, uses it. I want to give them a bit of credit and at least, you know, show some appreciation for their hard work. And and he was fine with it. He he was he was cool. Uh, so shout out to Ezo for for his actually pretty spectacular tactic. If it is his tactic, he was just the first person I saw use it. So yeah, in this first area, you've got quite a few orange bars. You need to make sure that you take out the orange bars. The two snipers on the left hand side. I take out the orange bar sniper at the bottom because many a time on previous runs, not so much this time, but on previous runs, as you know. Can take you very quickly and depend the what i basically do here is there's a couple of anomalies here i'm gonna say this to start with i've seen videos of anomalies and people shouting out where the anomalies are you guys will see where the anomalies are in the video but what i will say to you and this become evident at the end don't worry about the anomalies too much there's that many anomalies at the end that if you didn't get all the anomalies that i get going through you'd still have eight to ten minutes on the boss for a 60 second boss fight so the anomalies are where is the not important pick up the ones that you you know pick up the ones you see me pick up and and you know even if you miss some of them even if you forget where some of them are you're still going to get this done so my strategy here is i'm 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 a pretty attacking player i'm a pretty strategic player so i'm not really going to you know, there's some people will go straight under this uh, ramp. If you skirt the outside of this and just keep kind of bouncing, you can get all the way around here and you can do all your fighting from the comfort of this room. I don't really like being outside and I definitely don't like being under that ramp because I feel, I feel as if I'm defending myself as opposed to being able to attack. Now... There are a couple of anomalies back outside that you can get once you clear these ads, but the ad you really want to clear is the the yellow bar, not these orange bars. They're 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 you know they're kind of an add-on. So pick and choose your fight. Make sure you're switching burns because the thing about Prism is if you try attack with a solar scout rifle on Void, you're not going to get very far. You just won't do a lot of damage. Uh, it's that you know now as you can see. I'm, They've backed away. They don't normally back away that much. And he's not going to be enticed to come into my grenade. Uh, it's arc. I'm not going to need my super just yet. So I'm going to use it on him. And you can clean him pretty quickly. We've, we've got just about full heavy ammo. Um, use my super so I can get my weapon back out. And take out the two anomalies down at the bottom. And then, and then we're done. Uh, when we get to the next area you'll get to see where... I think there's eight anomalies. For this next section, these these ads can kill you if, if if you're not careful. So what I do is 
I always hang to that right side, side and use that box there for cover. But just a little thing, and it seems like a lot of people don't actually know this. Uh, ads will become alerted to you more quickly if you boost. Whether you're invisible or not. They won't see you if you're invisible, but they'll hear the boost and they'll become aware that there's something there. So as you've seen, I managed to run past there with minimal effort because I didn't use my boost. So that, that, there's a little trick for you. I have two places that I go on the outside here. It's a rock at each side and I can take all the all the anomalies that, I, that are on the ground level. I can take them all from these two places. Once I've took these three anomalies, I get on my spiral and go underneath the underneath the, the, sh the, the base to the next set. So while I'm collecting these guys, I just want to say thanks again. I say it every video and I mean it every video. Thank you very much to everybody that's been supporting the channel. Uh, if you do like the video, give it a thumbs up, guys. Comments would be brilliant. What do you, do you think of the run? Did you think I've done anything that you wouldn't do? Do you have any additional strategies? That's always a good thing to get into the conversation. Do you have anything you would have done differently? You know, put it in the comments. I will get. I will reply to each and every comment. I always do. Uh, and again, just thanks to everybody that's been supporting the channel. Uh, without your support, there would be no channel. So, we are now heading into the, the tank room. Now, there's, uh, there's four anomalies in here I get. There might be more than that, but like I said at the start, anomalies are... They really are kind of surplus to requirements. If you get the ones that you see, you don't have to go hunting for other ones with this strategy. So I always come up and activate that left console first. As you can see, there was an anomaly on the left. There's an anomaly when you drop down onto the box. As you're running over the other console, there's an anomaly underneath the console that you run straight at. So those things are staring you right in the face. So it's, it's not a grind to really go and get those anomalies because they're right in front of you. And then I head to the back. If anybody's seen my solo nightfalls or my prestiges that I've done on this, I always attack from the back. I always attack from this this part of the room and there's an anomaly just to the right now again work with the burns uh, if because I've got a solar scout rifle I can't attack on solar so that is you know that, that, that that's basic it's not really a big deal during this run but for, for, for any of you guys doing it you only really want to attack if you can put grenades down or you know you can use rockets but you have to make sure you take these cabal because they will finish you off. Doesn't you can't just let you you know because it's a prestige uh, strike. They're obviously doing more damage. If you think you can just, I'll get it all done before they come. They will kill you. And be careful of the splash damage from that tank. Now, as you can see, before I went in there, it was out burner threw a grenade on. The grenade killed him. Now this yellow bar. He's, he can be a little bit tricky. So what I'm trying to do is just put, just keep putting a bit of damage on him. Make sure his health is continuously coming down. Waiting for the burn to change to my rocket. I can use a rocket on him because he will drop heavy ammo, as you know. So normally, that doesn't happen. Normally, he will jump out the way of that rocket. And what I actually tried to do was hit the ground. Because that's how you do the damage to him. Don't try and hit him directly because he'll always dodge it. Either try and hit the edge of the platform if he's right on the edge, fire at the edge, or wait until he loads his wrist grenade launcher. He can't jump out of that animation. So here we are, guys. We're at the, the last section before the boss. This is where the strategy takes place. Now, the reason I said don't worry about anomalies is, A, you will hit max light in this room. Okay, you will hit max light in this room. So if you've collected nearly all the anomalies, you won't be able to collect all the anomalies in here because you'll max your light out. So that's why it's not a big deal to not to be collecting every anomaly you see. Although, I would suggest you try to get the ones that you see me get. The strategy basically is, on this part, you're going to, again, be clever with the burns. Now there's, I think, eight yellow bars orange bars in this room so you've got eight pieces of heavy ammo that you're going to get so don't worry about using heavy ammo because you'll get you need six rockets when you finish this as long as you when you kill when you kill any of the orange bars as long as you don't pick the heavy ammo up you'll be guaranteed to have your full rockets i'm not saying don't pick any up I'm saying you you know you just need to make sure that there is you have six 
uh, shells available to you once you've cleared this whole area. And what, what we're going to do is, once we've cleared all the ads, we're going to jump up the chain and activate the boss. Now that activates him before you activate the plate. Come all the way down, wait for the burn before your rocket burn. Now you you can you, you don't have to. It just makes it a little bit easier. Wait. So so because I'm on arc subclass, void rocket launch. I've got a solar scout. So I will activate the plate on solar. So I'll jump up the chain to the last section that turns silver. It's nearly at the top. It's the last because it changes colours. It's like a dark, like a black, then silver, black, silver. When you get to the last silver section, jump back down. Get up onto the the bridge. You can activate the plate straight away. Kill the Cabal, but you don't jump on the plate until your rocket burn has appeared. So if you're doing it the same way I'm doing it, you'll be waiting for Void. But wait just a couple of seconds before you jump onto it. When you go up, he will be there. When, when, when the lift starts to go up, he will be at the top the whole time. Your plan is you're going to shoot all your rockets at him as you're going up on the, on, on the lift. And what you do is jump on, get a bead on him, fire, step in, step in, while you, when you're reloading, step in towards, I go to the rear of the plat platform, it, it's less of an angle to shoot at him, step in towards one of the crates so that he can't snipe you, and fire your rockets in between his snipes, it's, if you, and that's why I use the curtain call, because of the faster reload, I also have a mod on that increases reload for power weapons. What I do then, by the time I, you get to the top, the burn will have the burn will change when you get to the top. I'm on striker, so I'm going to put two fusion grenades on him, and then I'm going to hit him with my super. I'm going to slam, then he's going to try and slam me, then I'm going to use my shoulder charge to keep myself at him, so I can come straight back at him. Put as many slams and shoulder charges as you can into him, then he will try and jump, he will jump away, he won't try, he will jump away, but he'll have literally next to nothing left. If you follow through the center, so if you jump off the plate, the platform that, he, that you and him were on, where the the four kind of, I can't remember what they're called, they're not called scorpion tanks, but the solar the solar turrets, jump away from there and go towards the other side where, the, where you pick up, normally would go and pick up the cores. You're away from the ads, you have a little bit of time, start shooting him. The minute you see him, and as you'll see in this video, he doesn't even make it up onto that platform. When he gets to the platform, the burn will change again. So if you don't finish him before he gets onto the platform, you need to follow him down as he goes into his animation aid to start to, to bring up the next set of turrets. He will stay in that animation. You can just switch to your solar scout rifle and just headshot away to your heart's content. It's, as I say, it's not, it's a strategy that I've seen, just the boss fights a strategy I've seen, Modern Tryhard has a, I've seen him do it differently where he gets up, gets up onto the platform, head glitches him, brings his health down to just about halfway between, through the first bar of health, and then when it changes to his super, he attacks him with his super, make sure that he takes him under the first bar of health, uh, he, the, the he will, the, the boss will then jump up onto the first platform, go through the animation and jump down to and go through the next set of animation which is to bring out the turrets. You're already still on the platform waiting for him. You'll get your uh, rally barricade up and then you'll just use your rally barricade to put six rockets into him then. But this strategy it's all done before then. So there isn't much left of this video. There's about a minute and a half left. So uh you know, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. It, it certainly was a lot of fun to make. I wish I'd have put my original run up, but having said that, it wasn't a flawless run. I did actually have a few deaths on my original run, which I'd done, I think, the week after Osiris dropped. So, a, a, a couple of weeks ago now, I'd done it on PlayStation. So, I'm glad I actually had a chance, or was given the motivation. i seen a friend of mine shout out to Shabble91. Uh, I'd seen that he put his up, and it kind of made me think, well, why didn't I put mine up? You know, I should have put mine up. Uh, and after speaking to him, he, he convinced me with, with his reasoning that it would be a good idea. So thank you very much, Shablo. Much appreciated, buddy. Uh, as you can see, you just, in between his snipes, you just back in, back, back out, fire your rocket, wait till you see the snipe pattern, 
and make sure if any of your rockets miss, the run is over. All six have to hit him. And as you can see here, he's got not very much left, and we've still got seven and a half minutes on the on the clock. Now he will stay in that animation, uh, no matter what. Doesn't matter how many times you hit him, and if you've got put a couple of grenades on him. Now I don't realise if I had have realised, I'd have slammed him again, and he'd have been dead. But he's not going to make it up onto the platform. That's the video, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, as you can see, it's good night Vienna. I hope you guys have enjoyed the run. I certainly enjoyed making it for you guys. 